everybody so today i'm filming my skincare routine now i have promised this video for quite some time i have got a very consistent skincare routine now that i am working with the body shop i am a consultant at the body shop if you didn't already know i sell products and often there's loads of discounts on and things like that i do my own discounts that eat into my commission and things like that so go and check out the link in the description for my facebook page where i post daily about discounts reviews of products showing me using the different products i own so many products from the body shop i would say nearly 35 to 40 products from the body shop and today i'm going to show you my evening skincare routine i do have a morning skincare routine so give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that but i am going to show you my evening routine so there is a lot so please do go grab a cup of tea sit tight and we are going to get into the video also i do apologize if there's anything that's not the cleanest in this room i haven't had a chance to clean it just yet but i will I will. Okay, so here is my little kind of cupboard of skincare. I love this cupboard. It's my favourite place in my new flat. If you haven't seen my flat tour, go and give it a watch. But we are going to start off using the Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover from the Body Shop. Most of the products that I'm going to be using today are from the Body Shop because I do actually really love their products and I don't think I can switch to anything else anymore. And I'm using the Organic Cotton Rounds. If there's any products that you see in this video that you're interested in, wanting to try out or wanting to buy, then just give me a message, let me know or comment down below and I will sort that out for you. We might be able to do a cheeky discount. Okay, so this is the bottle. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit onto one side. Now, technically this is an eye makeup remover, but I use this to remove the whole of my face. Well, not the whole of my face. I use this to remove my makeup. I don't wanna remove my face. Um, sorry that the camera is not too kind of, sorry, I'm not close to the camera. I'm gonna have to zoom in. But this actually works so well at just removing your makeup in general it is £7.50 but like I said I can do discounts so just let me know so so nice this range the chamomile range is perfect for sensitive skin okay so now I come up to my eyebrows and literally I just scrub at them gently like that and then I go to the other side and I scrub that gently and then place over my eyelid like this and kind of just rub it a little bit move the cotton pad and gently rub you don't want to be rubbing too hard and then the other side by the way i'm just wearing a really casual hoodie just for this video because i've been having one of those days where i'm just cleaning the house i've been tidying up in every single room doing washing that kind of thing so it's one of those days where it's just kind of get stuff done do a food shop not really too bothered about how i look so just remove any excess i don't have a mirror so i'm gonna have to use this okay so now i've removed my makeup i'm just going to throw this away in the bin i am now going to start on with my first cleanse now in the evenings i use the body shop chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter so this is also part of the chamomile range along with the eye makeup remover so i'm going to use this this is one of the most kind of famous products at the body shop a lot of people swear by this and that's why i wanted to try it so you're literally just gonna grab a bit of this. It's a balm texture. It's very similar to the Emma Hardy cleansing balm, but I would actually say that this one is better. And it literally makes your skin feel so, so soft. It melts off makeup. You could literally just use this to remove makeup. I just like doing all the steps. I love doing skincare. So much more than doing my makeup. I used to look forward to doing my makeup. Now I look forward to doing my skincare. Sorry about my hair, by the way, I just had to throw it up. So this is the stage in your skincare routine where you can give your face a little massage. I know a lot of people swear by massaging their face because it really does help kind of blood flow in your face and it just um, makes your skin so much nicer. But to be honest with you, my skincare routine quite, takes quite a long time anyway, so that would just not be for me, basically. Okay, rubbing my eyes gently. And this is where you kind of see the excess makeup that is on your eyelashes. 
I, that's why I don't, I know that I'm gonna cleanse, hence why I don't go too heavy with the eye makeup remover because I know that I'm gonna cleanse with this afterwards. And you can see how much makeup is still left on your face. Now I'm gonna run some water in the sink and then I'm just gonna wash this off. So run some warm water. Okay, so I've just washed my face. It feels really nice and clean. My next step is to use the charcoal soap. So this is the Himalayan charcoal soap, which is meant for your face. So when I saw this on the website, I was really interested because this is actually a reasonable price um, for something that's gonna last so, so long. I use this morning and night. It's meant to be good for people that have spots and things like that or any breakouts on their face. So yeah, I use this morning and night. It's not too drying. I know that a lot of soaps can be quite drying. This isn't too drying. It's actually really, really good. So I'm just gonna put some water with this and then lather it up on my face. And it does actually lather up really, really well. Probably would be a good idea to take my rinse off at this stage. Don't know why I haven't already done that. So yeah, I'm just gonna lather that up in my hand. Like that, just get it in like that. And then we're just gonna rub it around. I don't rub this on my eyes because I personally always get soap in my eye. No matter what soap it is, I always get it in my eye. I would recommend using this um, to wash your face rather than a normal hand soap because hand soaps can be really, really dry, especially for your actual skin on your face. So something that's meant for your face like this would be perfect. Okay, so this is just like another cleanse to the skin, getting rid of anything else. I love, honestly, love skincare so much. That's why I put so many steps in my routine. So I'm just gonna wash this off. Okay, so now my skin is all cleansed. It is literally just gonna be throwing loads of products onto my face. So we're gonna head into the cupboard. The first thing that I'm gonna be using is my Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Toner. I do really, really love this toner. It's one of the only toners I've used that doesn't sting my face. I don't have particularly sensitive skin or anything like that. I would say my skin is oily to normal. Um, definitely not sensitive, I can put anything on my face. Um, and, but most toners do actually sting my face, whereas this one doesn't at all. It's really, really nice and it is very hydrating. So I'm just gonna run that around my face, even out my skin tone, add a little bit of hydration to the skin. By the way, all of my steps in my skincare routine, I might not necessarily do them in an order that you would do them in, but this is just my preferred order of doing everything in and it just works for me and how I like to do it. I do take it down my neck, because you've got to remember, skincare is not just about your face, it's about your body as well, and I do happen to have spots down my neck as well, um, so that's where I also like to put my skincare. So I'm just gonna save that for later on, and I'm gonna pop that back in here. My next step is to use a product from the Drops of Youth range. Now this range in the body shop is meant for kind of slightly older people that want their skin to look a little bit younger, but I personally think start young. This is the Drops of Youth Essence Lotion. This is one of my favorite products. It feels so, so nice. I use it morning and night, and this is a product that I will 100 million percent repurchase because I just love it so much. It adds a ridiculous amount of hydration to the skin. If you've got dry skin, this will be an amazing product for you. Um, and I do also like to put it on before I do my makeup in the morning because it's, it's actually a really good primer as well. So to me, it's a multi-use product. So I'm just gonna pop that on. My face might look a little bit red because it's not used to putting these products on so quickly after each other. Usually I give it a few minutes between each product before putting other ones on. But for this video, I thought I'll just crack on. So my skin feels very hydrated and um, and it does need kind of a minute just to settle into my skin before I go in with the next product. So I'm just gonna pop that back in the cupboard. I have actually had this for well over a month now and used so much of it and not that much has gone down. So really impressed with this product. Next is another product from the Drops of Youth range. This is one of their most famous products. It was on the news, how one of these sells every 26 seconds. It is often called Botox in a bottle. And yeah, it's got a load of reviews. It is a really good, product 
I love using it. It makes your skin feel so nice. And a lot of women, or even men, get a lot of results from this in terms of like reducing fine lines or anything like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, just message me about it. If you wanna know more information about this or any other products, um, because this is definitely a product that works because of the results that people send in to us sellers and things like that. So I'm just gonna rub that in and it feels so, so nice. Yeah, my skin looks a bit red, but in real life it's not this red, um, I promise you. And also it's because I keep battering my face with my hands. Okay, the next step is to moisturize. So this is the vitamin E moisture cream from the body shop and this one is for all skin types. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used. I've mentioned this in a previous video. I am obsessed with this, I love it. I have uh, recently ordered a new moisturizer from the seaweed range um, at the body shop because I just wanted to try a different one. I love trying new things, but I can see myself repurchasing that in the future. It's just so, so, so softening, hydrating. And yeah, it's one of the best moisturizer, it is the best moisturizer I've ever, ever used. So yeah, my skin feels so, so soft after using this. God, I bet you're sick of hearing from me right now. Um, now I'm gonna use the Body Shop Drops of Youth Bouncy Eye Mask. So this is a very good little product that is also loved by a lot of people. Um, and it's in a small little pot and you literally take a little bit and you just pop it underneath your eye and kind of that area. And this reduces any kind of fine lines that you might have underneath your eye. It's definitely a product to use if that's something that you've got an issue with or you don't want to have an issue with in the future. Um, especially if you're the kind of person that laughs a lot because that's where you'll get your, your wrinkles if you laugh a lot. So yeah, that's a really good product. And again, lots of results from this one from other people. Okay, we are reaching a close. Now I go in with some pure tea tree oil. Um, this one is actually from Poundland and it is really, really good. The Body Shop do do one, which is probably a little bit better, but I personally um, save a little bit of cash and I just buy this one. And I literally dab that on the areas where I've got spots. So I can't see, I don't have a mirror. So this is a very harsh product. It's definitely not something that you want to be swiping all over your face. You want to just dab it on the areas um, where you've got spots. So it will make your kind of spots flare up a little bit. But then the next day, they honestly go away so, so quickly. I am obsessed with this product. So if you don't want to get one from the body shop, then go to Poundland. And then I'm going to finish off with the pink grapefruit lip butter from the body shop. My hands are really greasy. I can't open it. Okay, pops of that on. And, Bob's your wrinkle. So this is my finished skincare routine. Usually in the evening, my skin is looking a lot more sore than it does at the beginning of the day, because at the beginning of the day, all this skincare has been on overnight and my skin looks amazing in the morning. Put my makeup on, it's all nice and fresh. And then as the day goes on, I'm rubbing my face. Um, I'm leaning on my face. I'm scrubbing it with products. But the important thing for me is that every single morning my skin looks really, really good. 